our viewer, Kathleen Barber Mercante from St. James, Long Island, who has been showing off her favorite family recipe for polenta. Now, the polenta is spread right on a very clean table. Make sure you scrub that table. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, do you have a wooden table in your house? Um, we have boards that we can use oh. uh, for the polenta. Okay, so now Kathleen is spreading the sauce That's right. over the top, and then we're going to add all the meatballs. That's oh, right. This looks so good. And you can do almost any type of sauce on top of the polenta. Anything um, that you would put on um, pasta. Like you pesto. Can, absolutely. We do um, a seafood sauce. You know, we make seafood sauce, any kind of... Um, and guess what? You're going to come and sit right at this table and start eating. That's right. Now, what could be... Oh, you want to just pour now for the rest? Absolutely. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. Oh. And uh, ooh, splatter, splatter, yeah. splash, splash. Okay. Okay, so we can spread that. I can spread this around right here. Yes. Mm. Absolutely. And now we used oh, to make yum. this. My my grandmother, um, they would eat it off the table during the depression. And they didn't have um, enough plates. They or? didn't have enough plates because they had eight children and they took in borders. So mm -hmm. it was. You want to put more meatballs? Absolutely. Make sure that we got lots of meatballs in there for people to eat. Now, and how many people would this serve? About 15 or 20? I would say about 15 to 20. Hungry people. That's right. <laughs> and when you have plenty of leftovers, just cool it off. It's always better the next day with a frying pan, a little bit of olive oil. Wow. All right. So, so we'll just put this, and then who would like to come up? How about you three? Yeah. And two of you. All right. <laughs> so move this over here. So this is polenta family style with and meatballs have and fresh ground right here parmesan go. cheese. Here, Make I'll sure take you that. Dig in. And I'm going to show you, show you how to so do So we should this. just, you know, I'm just like being the waiter cleaning up the plates. <laughs> we don't want you to have any sauce on you, but no, uh, absolutely not. yum. Uh, can you get a cup of water? Uh, sure. Would you like a glass of Chianti? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. And we um, we do this at New Year's Eve with my cousins. Now. Oh, what fun! Yes, yeah, so and we uh, we always have a good yeah, you time. You sit in the middle, this. Kathleen. Okay, thank and you. And I have a fork too. Yeah, I'm just going to taste right here. A little bit of and the polenta. And uh, when you bite into the polenta, just kind of go in, kind of go up. Okay, that's mine. Little... Don't touch. That's right. You got to section that's off your mine. area. And, and then you can sit, then, then uh, you know, just ten more it. people can sit down, that's right? That's right. Absolutely. Mm. And you can stand up and walk around. And a nice, and... how do you like it? Oh. Very good. <laughs> Have you had anything like this before? Have you ever eaten off the kitchen table? Uh, <laughs> no. Two times no. in desperation. <laughs> no. Oh, really this tasty. Is really I'm mm. glad that you enjoy it, and the meatballs are good too. And mm. this is definitely something that they that you do in the um, winter time, and um, when it's nice and cold out. And the first snowfall, my grandmother always we we did, we always knew that she was coming over to make polenta. How so, great! Well, yeah. What a nice memory.